we all have heard about quick access toolbar which is available on the top left corner of the screen these are icons which we can act directly by clicking on it but recently when i hover my mouse on a inbox email i have seen few options here so what are these so howdy howdy everyone i'm amit from mail smartly today in this video you will learn what is quick action buttons so these are quick action buttons there is no restriction that there are only few actions which is visible here i can change it modify it and these button help me to act on that specific email quickly so simply go to your home tab in the find section you will see tags click on it there is an option follow up click here and from the drop down the last option is set quick actions when you click on it quick actions dialog box appears so you can customize what happens two items in your inbox when you hover over them so there are two quick actions so the quick action one when i click on the drop down i will see few options here archive delete move flag mark as read and in the second quick action you will again see the same options none archive delete move flag and mark as read so i have selected move i need to select flag and when i click okay you will see the options here move and flag are added here when i click on this flag it will automatically tag this email as a reminder or when i click on this move it will automatically open the move dialog box and i can proceed from here also directly although there are many other options like quick steps quick access toolbar or i can use these tags or these ribbons to achieve my target so these are the basic quick action buttons which i can modify and change according to my requirement but there is one problem i have multiple email addresses added in my outlook and currently i am showing this feature in the outlook.com which is exchange account and when i change the account to gmail account and i click on this tag the quick action buttons option is not available in this gmail account so if you want to enjoy this feature you must add or you must create a exchange account first so if you have learned something new from this video please like and subscribe this youtube channel thanks for watching